Hello my friends, um, I'm back. <clears throat> it's just the beginning of August, um, well, the 10th, or the 12th actually, the 12th of August now, and uh, it's been now officially a week or so or more that uh, Laura and I have been apart, and um, it's very hard, of course, you know, I am full of regret and shame, and um, that I let my anxiety and anger get to me so much that I would hurt the one I loved so much. But what I'm here to talk about is actually to tell you from a perspective of an addict how this plays itself out, basically. <clears throat> you know, the first things I notice uh, happening in my mind, for example, as soon as I get down and I get depressed and sad, and, uh, you know, it's a very sad ordeal when you lose someone that was so, so, meant so much to you, you know? Um, it's not like I'm sitting around, uh, you know, all happy. I'm, I'm actually miserable, you know. Um, I'm uh, devastated by what happened, really. You know, I had really high hopes to live the rest of my life with this person. So, as an addict in recovery... What happens to my mind is I automatically want to smoke cigarettes, which I've quit a few months ago now, and I've been still doing the patches or the plastic cigarettes, switching on and off from one or the other, whichever was accessible to me, basically. And um, right away I want to start drinking, you know, I, I noticed that because I had a cup of beer and, and uh, I see how easy it would be for me to click back, right back into it. Like, no problem, you know, I could switch to hard liquor at any moment, actually. It's just incredible how easy it is, but I'm not, I'm not, you know. I'm spending my second day without booze. Uh, I don't appreciate the way I feel the next morning. Um, I need I need to feel okay in the mornings, you know. I need to be strong in the morning because my mornings usually are weak mentally, so physically at least I need to be fit. So now, you know, all these all these thoughts come in, like maybe it's a good time to relapse because my daughter's also away for a couple months. <sighs> Go away, wasp. Go away. I'm super allergic to wasps and I really hope not to get bitten here um, <clears throat> otherwise I would really be in a real real trouble <laughs> but you know my mind starts thinking maybe I could relapse maybe I should go and get some drugs maybe uh, should hang out with the wrong person or not, you know, um, <sighs> suicidal thoughts come into my head sometimes, you know, and I have to battle them all out, you know, I have to think them all through and just be a grown-up already, you know, about it, and, uh, and I do, I think it all through, I don't just go out there and do all these things, no, no, I don't, um, <clears throat> But it's what's creeping up on me, you know, it's creeping up on me naturally. So, um, this is a very vulnerable time for an addict, you know, um, <clears throat> especially an old one who wants a way out, you know. For example, I'll tell you, for a long time, Laura, for the last year, was my heroine. She was my heroine. I chose her over everything. And over any, every woman, over any drug, over <laughs> over cigarettes, over anything, anything, you know. I waited long for her and, and was back in her arms. 
and when I was in her arms or <clears throat> when, whenever we were together, I didn't need anything else. I didn't need anything else except for the occasional cannabis or something, you know. But uh, <clears throat> now that she's gone, you know, um, again, the mind needs to supplement with something else, you know. And uh, I am resuming my sessions with my psychiatrist, uh, my counselor <clears throat> from Viha, um, which is Vancouver Island um, Health Association, I believe. And um, she will be coming twice a month to, to my island to see me. And I will be going to see her. She's a great lady. <clears throat> Uh, probably the best uh, psychiatrist I ever had, and um, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, I'm also <clears throat> uh, been seeing my acupuncture uh, master and friend and, and doctor lately, and uh, <clears throat> Nada acupuncture, ear acupuncture has come into my life a bit more, and uh, Maybe meditation will also take place soon. I have to battle my anxiety in order to continue. Otherwise, my mind will destroy me, you know. The bad wolf is trying to feed me lies and, and make me paranoid. And, um, <clears throat> and it's winning with the good wolf right now. You know, I am, I mean, I'm calm now. He's gone. He's done all the damage and left. I have no idea where he's hiding, you know. <laughs> Somewhere in the forest. <laughs> but he's gone, the coward, you know. And now only me is left, the good wolf. And I'm feeding the good wolf. I'm trying to eat some food. And, you know, I'm not good at it when I'm alone. I have to really force myself to eat when I'm alone. Whereas when there is somebody, I always have the pleasure in cooking, for example. <clears throat> and that's why I would eat. When Laura was here, we ate breakfast and dinner and supper all the time because that was normal to her. And, and she got me used to that, you know, it was awesome. I'll never forget your salads, Lau. If you're listening to this, they're the best fruit salads that I've ever had in my life. And I mean, not just fruit, but everything. Vegetables and nuts and, and, and dried fruit um, and, and fresh fruit. It's just incredible salads, you know. I'll always miss them. And I... You know... I am going to continue on some of the things I've already started with Lao. Um, for example, you know, I've managed to finally serve my ex with the divorce papers from court. So the proceedings have started. I have paid for the first uh, <clears throat> first uh, section of, of the proceedings. And uh, to Thanks to Lau, I was able to come come up with the full application and filled out and ready and everything. And uh, <clears throat> also, I have uh, two other applications ready to be just filled out and filed, so I can continue with that. I am already, thanks to Lau again, um, have progressed in getting my application ready f uh, to file and send for my citizenship card which i really need that i lost a few years ago in order to obtain my passport which i will simultaneously uh get um as soon as i um file for my citizenship card you see so i have a lot of things to do and i just had two root canals down on my teeth and i need a little bit of more work done so i can get partial dentures finally put in to the top of my teeth and finally have my teeth back you know somehow so I have to do all these things so you see I cannot give up 
my daughter is coming back from Europe in early October and I presume she will need her daddy even though she doesn't spend much time with me no more she's really busy with her friends growing up and dealing with her girl stuff and um, you know I only see her about once a week but um, at least that as for my personal life, I guess I'm alone again, and um, hopefully this time I will be able to get through it better. Um, last time when I was waiting for Laura for nine months, it was quite uh, hard. It was hard for me, but... Uh, now things are different, and I hope that uh, not only me, but everybody, everybody's pain can be lifted, and that we can all forgive, forget, and move on. Move on in the best way we can. I still love you, Laura, and I think I always will, but... You know, <laughs> women will always do as they want in the end, and I respect that. And uh, I've been a bad boy, and I deserve to be punished. You know, <laughs> it's a, uh, it's life. You know, I'm very sorry. I uh, I did not intend for any of this. You know. For any of you who know me at all, know that I'm speaking right from the heart right now. And I didn't intend for anyone to be hurt, you know. I mean, I don't like being hurt. I'm not sick, like, that much that I get off on being hurt, you know. Just as much as I don't want to live and be alone, you know. I'm getting old. All the power to you people. Remember that in those weak moments we get all those cravings and uh, bad thoughts coming into our head. It's normal, you know. We are left alone with our thoughts. And again, we think that no one's around. Like, you know, my girlfriend's away. My ex is away, my child's away, and now I can party. No, actually, I don't feel like it. And I'm kind of confused. I don't know what to do. Um, because a part of me wants to end all of this drama and life. But a big part of me wants to continue and set a better example for my kid and for my friends and anyone, anyone watching. Therefore, I am going to give it another fight. I'm going to get up and I'm going to Say one love one more time. I'll see you soon. We'll figure out this whole addiction thing soon. Hopefully. <laughs> I believe in you all. Peace.